boys what is going on lads and welcome everybody back to another player review so today we'll be looking at the new what if chris smalling i honestly i haven't even checked how these cards work but i'm pretty sure if their team scores a certain amount of goals in a certain amount of games or something like that they will go ahead and get an upgrade i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that is the case boys i brought them for seven hundred thousand coins i'm probably going to lose a solid amount on tax with this card but either or i am very excited to try him in game because honestly he looks like an absolute beast if you guys remember i believe he had a headline in his last fifa he was absolutely in incredible he was absolutely incredible so i'm very excited to try him out remember boys as well if you are new a like and sub does go a long way you recently just hit 5k so i can I, I just thank you guys so much for that it's been a massive journey but we're going to keep going all the way to 10k boys starting off coming in at six foot four he's got the medium high work rates going to attributes as well 81 pace his passing of 82 short passing and 80 long passing is honestly i find passing very underrated with center backs if you guys watch it have watched this channel before or watch reviews before you all know i actually really love passing out with my center backs so for me that short passing and long passing stat is quite important also the 75 agility and 70 balance as a centre back, usually it's not a big deal. But as for Chris Smalling, it will be really good to have that type of centre back that can actually dribble, or somewhat dribble, somewhat feels okay on the ball. Now as for defending, we've got gone ahead and chosen a shadow, putting him to 91 pace, but also puts him to 99 slide tackle, 99 stand tackle, 93 awareness, 95 heading accuracy, and 98 interceptions. Stamina wise, he's got 83 stamina, 80 jumping, and that 96 strength, and 90 Aggression will be phenomenal going into tackles he'll be walking away with a ball nine times out of ten player tracy does have a power header as well boys we'll be using him in a five one two one two just as a uh central center back yeah we'll be using him as a central center back but we may switch him over to the right center back just to see how he is kind of on the wing almost but boys without further ado let's get into the chris smalling review boys here we go we are actually playing champs we're 2 no, so he could be facing a really good player who knows it's a very solid team he's got the new what if Rafinha so it's, I mean he's already gotten him to Debo in there he's got a what if Bashishe as well it's a really nice team boys he's obviously trying out some of these new what if cards as well let's see how it goes lads a very big game here central center back and a five back so he'll he'll probably have the most work to do let's get into it boys you know what, I want to give it to, sh to him straight away because I'm interested to see. He feels very agile considering his, considering his height. And, oh, that passing is really nice. Like I said, boys, I actually love passing with center backs. Incredibly underrated. If you build out from the back, he'll be a perfect fit. Chris Smallin. Oh, what a tackle, dude. It's so unlucky it goes straight back to him. All right, wait. We've basically gotten it out. What a tackle, dude. Jesus Christ. Going into that challenge, I could easily notice that aggression as well. Just, he is huge, man. Smalling. Dude, he... Oh my days, going into challenges and being six foot four, he just absolutely towers over my opponent, man. It is ridiculous. Holy shit. Chris Smalling versus Hernandez. Once again, another interception. Boys, what the hell is this card, man? Wow. Unlucky boys, 1-1, one, 1-1. One. One, one. We're going to go attacking because my opponent, we've literally been all over. We've had so much uh, chances there. Nothing we could have done there, really. Just one of those sweaty goals with Mbappe. We're going to go attacking and uh, just go all for it. Chris Smalling. See, he's one of the centre-backs as well. You can bring up further because he feels absolutely brilliant on the ball. He's agile. He definitely can handle going up further. Go on. Pale. Pale doesn't miss those, boys. That's what I'm saying. 2-1 already. Come on, boys. Desai, give it out to Smalling. Once again, areas like this is where the passing will come in handy. Smalling. Oh, dude. The agility and balance there as well. Literally, if, if I had a clunky center back there, say my Sol Campbell, I probably would have lost out on that ball just because the ball control with Smalling there was absolutely sensational, getting us out of a tight position. Bringing him out. Oh, we actually get a tactical advantage. You know what? We'll take that, boys. We went in for the tackle and we missed the tackle, but I will take that. My opponent would have been through on goal there, so happy days. A post. So if we put it here, let's see. Chris Smalling on the header. Chris Smalling! Oi! Imagine we scored with, with a Sir Chris Smalling. Imagine. Would have made that review so much better. Scoring a goal with your centre back.
What a goal. Boys, gold Cristiano Ronaldo still doing bits. What the hell was that? He's just turned his whole body to get that through. Chris Smalling. Chris Smalling versus Mbappe. Chris Smalling, dude. It goes straight back to him, and I knew that was going to happen, because it always does, but that's another tackle for Chris Smalling. Right, let's have a look here. My opponent's got a counter. Right, it's Chris Smalling. It's Chris Smalling time. It's Chris Smalling time. Boy, we don't need Chris Smalling time. I mean, he does put some nice pressure on, making my opponent take that shot. One thing as well, once he is so tall, like six foot four, very agile, jockeying with him, which is R2 and L2, is so, so effective. You know what? Let's just finish that. I mean, oh, with the post, that's a bit unlucky. We're five two up. My opponent is at the point where he's just given up. So let's just score a little bit of a wonder goal. We'll, we'll take it. Go on, Chris Smalling. Beautiful. One last tackle to end the game off, isn't it, boys? Can we actually start with hit a counter here? Go on. No, we can't. Unlucky. Just ran out of time. 6-2. Chris Smalling. What was this card, boys? He felt like a freaking Maldini crossed with, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, Kunde, very small, 7.8 rating, which is the highest out of all defenders, Desai with a 7.1, Campbell with a 7.1, Zambrotta 6.5, Roberto Carlos 6.6, .6, Van der Sar 7.3, and he's gone here to got him a 7.8. That is just insane, especially for a centre back. Like, this card, boys, was absolutely incredible. Let's hop over to the pros and cons screen. Boys, hopping on over to his pros and cons screen. It's going to be, first of all, six foot four. It's going to be his medium high work rates. It's going to be his pace. It's going to be his, actually, surprisingly, dribbling. And it's going to be his defending and physical. As for cons, boys, it's nothing. I can't think of a single con with this card. He is a perfect defender. Medium high work rates, high defensive work rates. He is there where you need him at all times. Six foot four, he is a giant. As for attributes as well, 81 pace going to 91 in games, very solid. And the reason I have put dribbling under a pro is as you saw in multiple scenarios, that dribbling really did get him out of some sticky positions. 75 agility, 70 balance, 89 reactions, 82 composure. Turning on the ball with this card is so good. So I am very just like, he's, he was very surprising dribbling wise. And I was expecting him to be clunky because he's 6'4". He's not clunky. Well, he's clunky, but he's not that clunky. And especially compared to a Sol Campbell, who's got 52 agility, 54 balance. Under pressure, you feel much more comfortable once you know he can actually dribble with the ball. Defending as well, especially with a shadow apply. He's basically maxing everything. 93 awareness, 95 heading, 98 interceptions, 99 stand tackle, 99 slide tackle. His defending is just self-explanatory. Physical as well is going to be his 96 strength and 90 aggression in particular going into tackles with this card what the hell man he was just incredible being six foot four he towered over them with the r2 plus right uh l2 plus r2 the two triggers when you jockey with him six foot four and he's very smooth on the ball it's just absolutely phenomenal and i can just imagine this card if he does get an upgrade pretty sure that's how it works honestly not sure but boys chris Morland, absolutely banging card for the rating out of 10, as you guys can see, I have to keep in mind he's 700k, he's very pricey, we're going to go ahead and give him an 8.5 out of 10. In terms of quality, he's a 9.5, probably even pushing a 10, but I do have to keep in mind his price being 700,000 coins, which is a big price to pay, like do you, do you pay for it? Do you maybe put that elsewhere? Do you put it into investments? Do you grind upgrade packs with it? But boys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10, and I'm going to say he is worth it. If you want to save for him and buy him, he'll be sensational. He's probably going to drop a little bit, uh, so maybe Make sure to buy him. Make, make, let, let him drop first, you know what I mean? Let him drop. But boys, Chris Smalling, absolutely banging card. Absolutely no cons because if you guys can look at the card and tell me one single con you see with it, you, you really can't. 70 balance, which still, like I said, for a center back is more than fine. And he's got the 75 agility. He's got the solid short passing, solid long passing. He's solid pace. He's everything you need for a center back, boys. He's a perfect center back. So an 8.5 out of 10. It's been your boy Davis. Sub if you're new. And until next time, boys, I will see you all later. Peace out, guys.